Hey, I'm Mark, and today's science project is how to make a battery out of just pennies. Uh, the penny has to be 1983 or, or, or younger. Um, cop, uh, old pennies were made out of mainly copper. The newer pennies is mainly zinc. So uh, we're going to use five pennies um, and some cardboard and some vinegar. I cut the cardboard out with a hole punch, three-quarter inch hole punch. And I'm just simply going to soak it in vinegar. You could also use lemon juice. And while that's soaking, I'm going to show you how we <clears throat> remove the copper from one side of the penny. Pretty simple process. So we'll go inside to the drill press. So we're going to make a device that will hold the penny. So I've got my drill press set up with the depth gauge and a Forstner bit. I'm only going to go in about a um, sixteenth of an inch. We want to file the tail side, not the head side of the penny. It's just easier filing. So we get this put into the vise and filed up. This is a hole punch I made in my lathe. that's roughly three quarters of an inch, size of the penny. Just put it on there and hit it. All right, we got our five pennies and the cardboard is soaked for about a minute in the vinegar. Dump out the excess and we'll separate each piece and you kind of want to just dry it a little bit. The vinegar is simply an acid so you could use lemon juice as well. We'll dry them just a little. What we'll do is take the penny copper side down. That will be negative. I'm putting it on a piece of aluminum. I got it hooked to my meter. We'll take a piece of the slightly damp cardboard. Again, copper side down and the zinc side up. And we'll put a, our meter on it and it should be a little over a half a volt. So five of them is gonna give us about three volts. So we'll stack another one. You could stack more and get more voltage if you wanted. But I'm building a three volt battery because I'm replacing, I'm going to do an experiment running uh, products that run off of these little batteries. We'll take another copper side down, cardboard, down, and that is our battery. And we should be running somewhere around three volts. about three and a half volts and we're going to be running a, a diode the diode will come with the kit we offer these kits for sale for $5.95 that includes shipping it would be the cardboard the two pieces of wire I'm going to show you the use there and the alligator clips you'll have to provide your own tape and vinegar but it will come with the diode so once you get to this stage we'll take some tape Take our setup here carefully. You don't want to, you don't want the cardboard touching. And we'll set the copper side down on the copper wire to make the connection. And the red positive wire on the top to make that connection. Kind of 
made a sandwich. kind of want to keep the the cardboard wet not soaking wet but just a little bit wet and here's one we made earlier I put it in a, uh, a ziploc bag to keep it moist and uh, we're gonna go inside and show you it working uh, the diode I got to go somewhere dark but again we'll show you this one working the meter here And we'll take it inside in the dark. We're gonna be running the sights on my Marlin scope. It happens to take that size battery. And it's a practical use for something this small. I mean, if you had to, um, something happened and you lived out in the wilderness or, and your battery went bad on you and you were hunting, you could, you got five pennies on you and a handful of materials, you could make you a makeshift uh, battery and just touch the negative to the outside and the positive to the inside ring there and You could have your scope working. So let's go in the dark and uh, we'll show you it working. All right, you can see the little diode running You can actually run several of these diodes and it will uh, It'll last a long time for days and days if not weeks and um, if it goes out you can simply Take it apart, refile it a little bit, and put the vinegar back on it, and it'll continue to work. Now we're going to run the scope of my gun on it. All right, we're to their new battery. Got the positive to the outer ring, and the negative to the middle. This is a simple chemical battery. The zinc is an anoid, and the copper is the cathode. I'll undo it and do it. And it's pretty practical uses. Uh, any You could run a calculator, anything that little 3-volt battery runs, a watch or anything. That's a neat little trick. You never know if your uh, time may arise when you need a trick like this. Again, we sell these. Uh, just contact me here on YouTube for $5.95, and that includes shipping to the U.S. Thanks for watching.